Hi everyone, let us discuss this result. In this result, we have a matrix space XD and A and B be two subsets of XD. And what is the relation between them? A is subset of B. This is a very important thing they have given to us. And we have to prove that if A is subset of B, then A interior is subset of B interior. This thing we have to prove. So let me write a given information. We have a matrix space XD, A, B subset of X and or let me mention given. The given information is a subset of B, I'm calling it as one. And what we have to prove, let me write here to prove that A interior subset of B interior. Okay, this thing we have to prove. So how to prove one set is subset of other, we take one arbitrary point from first set and we prove it is in second set. So let us take arbitrary point from A interior. Let P belongs to A interior, B any arbitrary point okay i am considering any arbitrary point so p belongs to a interior that means we can say p is an interior point of a getting so that means we are we are taking one point p from a interior so that means p is an interior point of a since a interior is nothing but collection of all interior points of a so p is an interior point we can write by definition of interior point there exist r greater than zero such that such that open ball with center p radius r subset of a since p is an interior point of a ready so p is an interior point of a that's why it is possible to find ball around p which is subset of a let me call it as two so will you tell me what can we write from one and two from one and two See, we have a subset of b, b subset, that means that format I'm telling, huh? b, x, r, this open ball is subset of a and a subset of b, so that's why directly we can say this ball, open ball is subset of b. So from 1 and 2, b open ball with center p radius r is subset of b. So yeah, in diagram also you can easily see this ball is subset of a, a is subset of b, then this ball is subset of b. So yeah, this is a definition of interior point, so therefore we can say yes, P is an interior point of B. Let me mention, okay. So implies P is an interior point of B. So the same thing we can denote in this way. P belongs to B interior. Actually, we had taken point P, arbitrary point P from A interior and we proved it is in B interior. So therefore, what can we say? A interior is subset of B interior. Therefore, let me write, therefore, a interior subset of B interior. In this way, we prove this result. Make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye bye.